Welcome to our channel, where we uncover the lesser-known details of history. Today we're going back in time to explore the intriguing story of cocaine use in the German Luftwaffe during World War II. First things first, let's clear up some misconceptions. While it's true that some Luftwaffe pilots were given cocaine-based stimulants like pervitin, it wasn't an across-the-board policy. It's estimated that only a small percentage of pilots and crew members were issued these drugs. So why did the Luftwaffe turn to cocaine in the first place? The answer lies in the challenges faced by pilots during extended missions. As you can imagine, flying for hours on end in extreme conditions with the threat of enemy fire would take a toll on anyone's physical and mental well-being. Pilots needed something to help them stay awake and alert. In 1938, Pervitin was introduced as a prescription drug in Germany, marketed as a cure for fatigue and depression. However, it quickly became apparent that it had a potent stimulant effect, leading some Luftwaffe officers to experiment with it as a way to enhance performance and endurance in their pilots. By 1940, the drug was being issued to pilots as a standard part of their equipment, with one pill recommended every few hours to keep them going. In some cases, pilots were taking up to 20 pills per day, but with the benefits of the drug came significant risks. Prolonged cocaine use can lead to addiction, cardiovascular problems and other serious health issues. And in a high-pressure situation like aerial combat, impaired judgment and decision-making abilities could have deadly consequences. So, why was cocaine usage eventually discontinued? There are several factors that likely contributed to its decline. For one, the long-term health risks associated with drug use became more apparent over time. Reports of addiction and abuse among Luftwaffe members were also cause for concern. Additionally, as the war dragged on and Germany began to suffer shortages in resources, the production of drugs like pervitin became more difficult. As a result, it was no longer practical to issue the drug to pilots as a standard part of their equipment. Finally, as Allied forces gained the upper hand in the war, the need for pilots to stay alert for extended periods became less pressing. Air combat became more sporadic, with shorter missions and fewer opportunities for prolonged engagement. In conclusion, the use of cocaine in the Luftwaffe during World War II is a fascinating and complex topic. While it may have provided a short-term boost in energy and alertness, the risks and consequences associated with drug use eventually led to its decline. Today we can look back on this little-known aspect of history with a mixture of curiosity and caution Thanks for tuning in.